Hi, I'm Edwina, and I believe in Bigfoot. The reason is, I wasn't a believer before. I thought Bigfoot people were crazy, and I was out with a dri- on a drive one night, and uh, one ran in front of our car. It was very dark, so we had the brights on, and this massive creature that had to have been between eight and nine foot tall stepped into the high beams of our car. And um, like I said, between eight and nine feet tall, at least 750 pounds, covered in hair, massive, massive creature, um, no neck, just long arms, and it was, probably one of the most terrifying things that had ever happened to me. Uh, It really took about two weeks for my brain to compute what it had seen. And um, after that, I started uh, doing research online and found a group near the area where um, I had had this experience and spoke to them. And although I was quite the um, camper and outdoors woman. They took me around and showed me signs and symbols around the forest that had completely um, gone past me. I didn't realize that the things that I was seeing were not natural. And um, from then on, I decided to dive in head first. And um, I joined the group. And there were um, wives in the group, but there weren't very many, you know, females who were like heading up things. And I had a research site for four years, which is called a habituation site or gifting, where I left things for the Bigfoots, um, the clan, which is the entire family. And um, in turn, they would take these things and um, communicate to me by uh, bringing things back that they wanted more of and leaving me various gifts. And um, it got to the point where uh, if my daughter and I were camping, they would come to our campsite in the middle of the night, stand right up against the tent. And um, I think the thing that changed the whole, these are big, scary creatures that are going to eat me, um, to believing that they were intelligent was um, one night we were out um, setting up recordings. It was probably March. It was maybe 15 degrees, um, 2.30 in the morning, a closed campground area. We were packing up to leave, and about 10 feet away, I heard this howl that just made the hairs on my neck stand up. It was so close. We ran to the car, um, realized we had left the recorders behind, went back and got them. By the time I got home, I started listening to this recording. Not only did I hear that howl, but afterwards was about 30 seconds of speech where this creature had spoken to me. And I I felt this, I heard this like yearning in its voice, like, don't go, I'm having fun watching you. And um, I actually sent it in to a linguist that works for shows like uh, Finding Bigfoot. And um, they actually said that it was the real deal. So um, from that moment on, I believe they were just curious creatures who just want respect and um, just kind of watch us, want to watch us once in a while. I never thought in a million years I would be a Bigfoot researcher. I'm a mom, I'm a grandmother, and um, I write about sex for a living. So I never thought that I would be a Bigfoot researcher, nor did I ever think I would believe in Bigfoot.